Welcome to Sea Leg Journey's Sunday evening live event with your host, Robin and Chet. And who knows, maybe baby Enzo or Ringo will have a special appearance tonight. Pretty sure they will. <laughs> <laughs> encourage you to participate in the chat and join along with the fun. That's right. Bring your questions and comments in. We're going to help you find out the things you need to know to make your next cruise the best one ever. Whether you decide to stay on the ship or get off the ship, a cruise vacation is a vacation of a lifetime. That's right. We'll talk about excursions. We'll talk about the ports. We'll talk about the ships and, of course, the food. It's almost showtime, so go grab that snack. The show's about to start. Mm. That was me on the drums. That was you on the drums. There weren't no drums in it, thank goodness. (laughs) (laughs) Well, don't know what's up with Ringo tonight. He wants to stand here and look that way. He heard us say that, you know, possibly baby Enzo and Ringo might make an appearance. And he said, hey, I'll do it. And so here he is. Ringo, the camera's this way, though, buddy. He you acts know, like he's shy. Because he doesn't like to have his picture taken. Oh, is that right? Mm-hmm. You well. know he doesn't. <laughs> What's our topic tonight, Mr. Dodd? Well, first we're going to tell everybody who he is. Well, I was going to say our topic first, then I was going to tell him who he was. Our topic tonight is <laughs> how to dress on a cruise. How to dress on a cruise? Cruising 101. We're going to give you that first class. I'm Very assuming this class. not this is not a nude cruise we're talking about. <laughs> well, there, you know, there are rules to that, too, we can mention. So, we want to thank you all for dropping in on our show tonight. We are choking on some peanuts and chocolate. Peanuts. <laughs> so, I got this little, you know, I'm gluten-free, so it's always hard for me to find chocolate because, believe it or not, chocolate can not be gluten-free. Because of the soy they put in the chocolate. Mm -hmm. So I have a hard time finding chocolate that's gluten free. So I found this little, it's like a trail mix. And it's got um, almonds and cashews and chocolate in it. Little Mm. little chunks of chocolate, right? Mm. But it's so dry, you choke on it. (laughs) (laughs) I've never had any kind of trail mix this dry ever. Even the chocolate's dry. Well, at least it's something to eat anyway. I guess. I did cook a gluten-free pizza for her tonight. Uh Uh-huh, you did. So we want to thank you all for stopping in tonight. If you are new to our channel, I am Robin, this is Chet, and we are Sea Lake Journeys. And this is Ringo. Enzo's down there on the floor. Uh, Ringo's fixing to go down there because he can't stand here like this. He'll get knocked off. No, he's going to jump here in a minute anyway. He's going to bail on us. We want to welcome everyone that's watching from... Facebook. Yeah. Um, go ahead and go through it. That's right. If you're a, a, a subscriber here, if you're not a subscriber here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's absolutely free today. <laughs> and we want to thank our members and our moderators and our lurkers. I Come on, lurkers. lurkers. Yeah. We have so many lurkers. It's ridiculous. I know. We stuck. have people lurking yeah. and we don't know that they're lurking until they come over to the house or they call us on the phone and say, hey. I was just watching you, blah, blah, blah. It's like, I didn't know you even subscribed to our channel. How about that? How about that? <laughs> I'll tell you, it is fun, though, when you're on a ship and you run into somebody and you don't know who they are. I've never seen them before. But they go, hey, we've seen you on YouTube. We're like, really? Are you sure? <laughs> yeah. So that's always pretty neat if you when you run into people and they recognize you from YouTube. And uh, you end up, the last time we did, we got a trivia team mm-hmm. of people who were following us on YouTube. And we were we winning. Like, them. 
you know, we're winning like crazy though, mm -hmm. because one of those guys was like a Jeopardy superstar or something, man. He, yeah. He knew like 17 out of 20 answers. And it just so happened that the other three, the rest of the team, we knew those three. We had walked in, <laughs> we had walked into the area where they're going to be doing um, trivia. And this guy, we didn't even know, stood up and said, hey, Robin and Chet, come be our partner. I was like, Chet, do you know that guy? He's like, no. I said, are you, have you met him on the ship already? Chet's like, no. Got over there and he says, I subscribe to your channel. It's like, oh, okay, cool. <laughs> Turned out he was a good trivia player, too. How about that? So, hey, if you're going to be on a cruise with Sea Lake Journeys with us, uh, you'd like to do trivia. We like to do trivia, too. And uh, we'll go do it. We ain't mm -hmm. gonna say we're good at it, but no, we we're have not a, good at it. We do have a <laughs> habit of somehow getting good teams around us, and, mm -hmm. and we, so we do win sometimes. Chet's better at trivia than I am. I'm terrible at trivia. Oh yeah, I know. I know three answers, and she knows two. But the <laughs> two she knows, I don't know. So, so a brief rundown of what we're talking about tonight. Just give us a teaser. Let them know what we want them to start putting in the chat. Okay, so cruising. There's things you know when you say how do you dress for a cruise. You need to know some things about it first. If somebody says, "Hey, Chet." From Sea Lake Journeys, what should I wear on my cruise? First thing I want to know is what cruise are you going on? Where are you going to? What is your destination? What kind of ports are you going to be in? What kind of excursions are you going to be doing? And which kind of cruise line are you going to be on? Because mm -hmm. there's a lot of difference between Carnival and Royal versus Cunard and Viking. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of difference in destinations from uh, Cozumel and Alaska and somewhere over in Asia or the Middle East. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of different things you got to factor into what you're going to wear on the cruise. Mm -hmm. mm. So as the show goes along, those of you that have joined us in the chat, go ahead and put in the chat what you think about uh, uh, cruising wear and cruising. We, we don't really call them dress codes. In some cases, they are dress codes. In some cases, they're just suggested dress. And sometimes it's required dress. So Put in the chat, and those of you that are watching from the Lurkers or the hashtag Team Replay, we want to hear your thoughts and ideas, too. And remember, you got to consider sometimes not just the cruise ship, but like I say, those destinations where you're going, you got to consider cultures, customs, mm -hmm. religions, and countries' laws. That's right. We're going to talk about laws of sometimes things that you have to wear or things that you cannot wear. So stay tuned. You're going to learn a lot tonight here on Sea Lake Journeys. That's right, because we got real <laughs> solutions for real cruisers. And I'm excited about it. Hope you are too. He's excited about everything. Hey, you know who had their first live show today? Well, look, we're going to say hello to people in the chat and then we're going to get to that. Okay, we'll do that. I don't okay. want to forget. I, you won't forget because I, I, we'll know when we see her. Okay, well, yes, we will. That's right. Hey, Tiffany Lava Shark was the first one in here tonight. Baby Shark, 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 Baby Shark. You got your mouth full, don't you? Mm -hmm. She's going to make me sing all by myself. <laughs> you know what I think of that? <laughs> How about that? <laughs> And cruising for one, Jeffrey's here. Hey, check it out, y'all. He hit the hashtag SLJ. If you are a, a channel and you want to put your channel link up so people can connect with you and find you, hit hashtag SLJ. And our little vacuum cleaner, I mean robot, Nightbot, Nightbot. whatever, there he is right there, that little guy right there, Nightbot, will go over there and grab your link and put it up for mm -hmm. you. How about that? That's right. Thanks for that. Jeffrey, cruising for one. And if you are watching by hashtag team replay or the lurkers or anything like that, anyone that puts up SLJ in the chat, I know that you can't grab the link because it's in the live chat. If they are a member of this channel, their link will be in the description of this video as well as description of all of our videos. Yeah. If they're not a member of our channel, just take note of the name on the screen. Most of them, that is how you find them. Rarely do you find them with a little alteration to that because some of the channels were developed before the new rule came into place. If you can't hide them, leave a comment in there and say, and hey, we'll CIA you, Journeys, I want to find Cruising for One. And we'll tell you how to we'll in the comments. You, that's right. Whether they're a member or not, we'll tell you. That's right. So looky here. Here's Leonard Family Fun. Leonard Family Fun. Hey, Tanisha and Bobby had their first live show today. They did. They did a great job. I went over and did a little moderating for them, and uh, it was a good time over there. Mm -hmm. Did you know Bobby plays the bass? I did. Bobby, I play the bass. He don't just play a four string or a five string. He plays a six string bass, y'all. How about that? Yep. I'm impressed. Me too. So they had their first live show. If you haven't mm -hmm. seen it, go over and catch their hashtag team replay. Or go to our community tab. If you don't know who they are, you will find them in our link. They are members of ours, but I also put them on the community tab. Mm -hmm. You can find that specific episode, live episode, right there. And they did a great job. I was actually over in my office working. Um, I know it's Sunday. I was still working. 
my, my new job, I feel like I'm like behind because I have so much to learn that I work today so that I could get some of it sunk into my brain. And I heard Tanisha and Bobby's voice and I'm like, check out Tanisha and Bobby's voice on in there. And I come in here and you guys were live. I'm like, oh, look, they're live. How about that? It was a lot of fun too, y'all. Good job. Mm -hmm. And Leonard Family Fun saying, welcome in everyone. Make sure to hit that thumbs up while you wait for the host to join us. Yes, so, thank you for that, Tanisha. Yes, and then Cruising for One put this comment up. Is it true that the thumbs up before the live did not count? Might be an urban legend. As far as I know, they count. Okay, so, well, let's get the, let's make the strike. Okay, let's right. do it. Let's define it. If our, our beginning screen is playing, our little countdown is playing, and you hit the thumbs up, yes, that thumbs up is counted. If you put a comment there, yes, that comment is counted. YouTube... If they haven't changed it already, they are. I saw a chat about it that they're going to stop counting the views and the thumbs up on videos that have not played yet. In other words, the you'll comments see, and the thumbs up. You'll see a lot played. of premieres, and people will go and give it a thumbs up mm -hmm. uh, or give it a comment yeah. before the video actually airs, or it's a notification that we're coming, like a live notification. Chet put this notification up. I don't know how many days ago. Two days ago? Yeah, two days ago. If you went two days ago and gave us a thumbs up and a comment, those are the comments and the thumbs up that YouTube is talking about, not counting on your thumbs up or your comments. Yeah. So she, she's more up to date on that stuff than I am. So Only because they send me emails. <laughs> yeah, they send her emails. <laughs> I just check the box for notify me when I get emails about new procedures and policies. That's all. When, I, when we became monetized, I check that box. I do make sure I do it when I'm watching the video. I, I go in and I'll give you a thumbs up and leave you a comment during the video or mm -hmm. immediately after. Yes. And here is the Z Gaming Show. Z's Gaming and Home Theater say good evening to the content creators out there. Good evening to you, Z Man. <laughs> Z Man, workout schedules tomorrow or Tuesday? I don't know, but I'll be working out tomorrow, so I'm going to watch your morning show. Bama Nola says, hey, Sea Leg Journeys. Good evening to you, Bama Nola. And dum 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 Shady Hill Homestead. <laughs> all right. We're so glad everybody's here. Randa C is here too, saying good day all. Great live at the Leonard Family Fun. That's it was. Right. It was. Yes. Yes. And Aaron Smith is here saying hello, friends. Hello, Aaron. What's going on? And you know, it's funny when their show started. I told you this is, did something happen to Bobby's arm? He's like, no. What do you mean? I said, well, Bobby's arm's missing. And it looks like his shirt is, something's wrong with his shirt. I realized he had his arm around his lovely bride like this, and we couldn't see his arm. <laughs> Bobby, she thought he was like me. He's walking around. <laughs> and then I realized he just had his arm around his lovely bride. <laughs> Chris for one says, I always forget to not eat peanut butter or peanut butter before a call. <laughs> Peanuts or peanut butter before a call. Yeah. Nah, nah. <laughs> not a complaint, but do you have a light out? Looks like, like a lot less light than normal. It's, do we have a light out? No, we don't. It's just that in Florida, the oh, sun the is now on the other side of the house because of the time of day and the time of year we're approaching. So yeah, we'll have to adjust the, the, light the light again. Don't come into that window anymore. A couple of weeks, we'll have to adjust the lighting again in here for sure. Yeah. But, uh, in the meantime, looks like I got a good Martian tan going on. <laughs> hey, there's Bobby. He there's says hello, Bobby. everyone. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by the Letter Family Fun Show. Chet mm -hmm. is the blessed man in Florida. That is right, Bobby. Bobby's the luckiest man, blessed man in Alabama. He is. And I am in Florida. Get those loose up. Mark, Mark the, the shark. shark is in the house. Woo! He says, hello, beautiful people. Mark the Shark, you get it. <laughs> a double squeaky tonight, brother. And Somebody those has crazy to cruise nuts. Cruise nuts. Mike and Tracy's here in the house. Don't forget, they're going to be with us live on that group cruise next May. I can't wait to hang out with Mike and Tracy. Mm -hmm. The dogs can't wait. They think they're going to get to go too. Do you all hear them in the background? <laughs> Aaron says, oh, my, oh, my, that jacket, Chet, is sporting in the second from the left top photo in the thumbnail. That is my leopard print, like snow leopard uh, tux that I have. I'm lucky I've got a wife that lets me wear wild and crazy things that reflect okay, you can wear whatever you want to wear, as long my as personality, look. you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mark the Shark says, for those who know me, yes, I'm actually on Celebrity Equinox. Oh, oh it's not Royal Caribbean Day. He's on Celebrity. Wow. How about that? And, yes, I'm at the chef's table. Just wanted to say See you, uh, Sea Lake Journeys. Love you guys. Martin Shark, we love you too, brother. It's good to see you out there cruising again. Mm -hmm. Woo! And uh, for those, oh, wait, I just read that one. Yeah. 
Uh, Cruising for one says the wrong outfit can turn casual dining into casualty dining. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Yes, uh, we like to we like to dress up a little bit there. We on, do. We you know? do. Mm -hmm. Hey, there's Renee Rich saying, "Hey, everyone, good evening to you, Renee. Renee's first time in here, so I got to give her a double squeaky too." <laughs> Welcome into the Sea Lake Journey Show. Uh, if you like crazy stuff, you came to the right place. Mm -hmm. Everyone give us our REC. Everyone's giving him, That's, giving Renee warm welcomes. That's right. The Sea Lake Journey, welcome. Woo! You got to have a lot of noise <laughs> involved with that. <laughs> Embarkation Nation. Andrew and Jennifer's here saying hello, everybody. Hey, Embarkation Nation. Hey, that's another one of our uh, travel advisors right there. If you got to book a cruise, I want to make sure we mention Check out Embarkation Nation, their channel. And if you need someone to help you book that cruise, get a hold of Andrew. And don't forget, also, we have Ocean to Ocean Travel. Get a hold of Bruce. Those guys will help you get on that cruise ship. <laughs> Cruising for one says, I'm glad I'm a member. Are you? <laughs> I if am you want to be a member, member, just click that membership <laughs> button down below and you can be a member too. And the crowd will go wild. <laughs> <laughs> and welcome in Facebook user. Facebook says we love this channel and the Chet and Robin. Awesome people. Awesome channel. I don't know who that is, but I'm so glad y'all are here. Facebook users. We are so, you know. It could be anybody. Mm -hmm. And thank you for being here. So Bobby wants to know what kind of bass did I play? Well, first of all, I haven't played the bass in years. Um, I donated my bass. Uh, we actually had, um, I played bass in church. And um, we had a, when we retired from the youth, being youth ministers, uh, we donated all of our instruments to the upcoming youth group that did not have instruments. But and it was a, we donated uh, a couple, some of it down to, uh, there's a Haitian church down mm -hmm. the street from our house. They were looking for instruments for their uh, music. What was the remember? name of the bass I had? Oh, gosh, I can't remember. Um, uh, oh, uh, it'll come to me in a minute. Yeah, no, I can't remember now either. Uh, Bama Nola Long Adventure says, Chet, do you, did you have to body slam anyone while you were moderating? <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't have to actually take anyone out, but the other day, on um, Elisa's Adventures at Sea, I had to take somebody out over there. They came in, and I could tell Elisa was real uncomfortable with them, and so I went, "Yep, you're out." <laughs> so I have done it before. Uh, Gypsy and Vanilla Grill are here. Oh, oh hello, Sea Lake Journeys. Good to see you. Good to see you, <laughs> Gypsy and Vanilla Gorilla. <laughs> Aaron says, "Fun fact: Tomorrow, August the 14th, is the birthday of Larry Graham, bassist for Sly and the Family oh. Stone. How about that, y'all? Ooh." I like it. Okay, let's see. August 14th. Um, here we go. Uh, uh, Renee says, hey, Sea Lake Journeys, where are you in Florida? We are in the smack dab middle of smack nowhere. Smack in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> otherwise known as Sebring. <laughs> We're smack in the middle of the state. Yeah. We're uh, south of Orlando, but northwest of Chobie. Lake Okeechobee. And we're middle distance from East Coast and West Coast. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we have another Facebook user. Hello. Welcome in. Hey, Welcome hey. in. Hey, hey, hey. Good friends. Oh, Leonard Family Fun says, hey, Sea Lake Journeys. Yes, it did look like he was missing <laughs> an arm. <laughs> I was hurting for you, Bobby. I, I didn't like, think it was missing. Bye. I thought maybe he had it, you know, next kind of cuddling it or something under his T-shirt like it was hurt. I, I thought maybe he was a contortionist and had it behind his head. You know, I, I don't know what's going on. TNT's Adventures to Seas here. That's right. TNT's in the house. Don't forget. Okay. Welcome in, TNT. <laughs> Welcome in, TNT, right there. TNT. They're going to be on that group cruise with us, too, in May. Make sure you come with us. They are fantastic, fun people, far out people. Check out their channel also and see some good live entertainment. Okay, so I'll I'll keep a track of what's going on over here in the chat. You start getting us going. With Let's do it. Okay, first thing we want to consider, if you're going on a cruise, oh, 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 on the ship. The ship seemed to be the most important thing. I remember our first cruise, we thought, oh, what are we going to wear? We didn't know anybody who ever went on a cruise before. The only thing we knew was the love boat. Mm -hmm. And we said, man, we don't really have uh, too much clothes like that. So, um I had a pair of dress pants and just a short sleeve button shirt because in Florida we really didn't have too many long sleeves. And uh, I think she went and bought a dress. I bought a couple of sundresses that I thought were appropriate because yeah. I didn't really know what to wear. And we had to go buy bathing suits because I just usually swam in shorts and t shirt or whatever. I had bathing suits. You didn't have bathing I didn't. suits. Okay, I didn't I have, have bathing, bathing suits. Yeah, you had a bathing suit. But Jess still had to go buy another one. So we had to go buy these neat clothes to go on a cruise. 
And when we got there, we were fascinated by uh, what people were wearing. Fascinated. And um, some of the things we noticed was on the ship that during the day, they we, you could just wear shorts and T-shirts and tank tops. And if you're out by the pool, you had your bathing suits. And then we noticed the, the ladies uh, putting on their cover-ups when they was leaving the bathing suit area. And it was like, wow, this is really great. There's kind of a, a uh, what do you call it to it? There's kind of a cruise culture to it. You kind of know what to wear and when to wear it. And at dinner on regular nights, we'd go to the main dining room and people were wearing what I had, the dress slacks and the mm -hmm. short sleeve uh, collared uh, dress shirts, if you will, and sundresses and stuff like, like she had. It was great. Then formal night came, though, and we was like, oh, no. We was like, I, I don't think we I had just, any formal clothes well, on Well, I just, one. yeah, the first, the one, second one, the we first did, one we did, you took just a regular church suit, just a regular suit like you wear to church. Um, oh, was that blue one? I didn't mm -hmm, have that blue, blue one. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I wore a, just a plain, simple black dress. Yeah. Because black is typically a black tie and fair is usually women wear black cocktail dresses. So we, we managed to fit in even on that first cruise. Mm -hmm. We didn't have you two back then to find out, hey, what can I wear? What should I wear? And what should, what would be better you know, to wear? And so I'm, I'm just in making the thumbnail. And we've already had a comment on it. Aaron commented on mm -hmm. that uh, leopard, white leopard print tux that I was wearing. That's because over the years I started, you know, I save up. I say, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look a little dressier this time. And I'd find <laughs> something like that. And then she'd find some dress to go with it. And it's like, yes, we loved it. And uh, if you like dressing up, uh, princess, this is another one of those princess versus carnival things for everybody who likes that stuff. Uh, you wear a tux like that or a suit, you're going to fit in really good on princess. Uh, Carnival, it just really doesn't seem that there's too many people wearing anything like that anymore. Yeah, it, even on Princess, if you don't have a suit jacket on, a lot of men wear um, the vest and, and a dress shirt. A lot of men wear that new that new dress shirt that I just love, that you don't wear a tie with it because it's that, you know, that two buttoned up thing look. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. uh, don't know the style that's called. I don't know what it's called either. Um, yeah. But it looks really sharp. You know, it's a, it's a dress shirt that doesn't require a tie. Yeah, long sleeve shirt. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. Um, kind of like a Japanese kind of style. I don't know what it deal. is. I, know I don't really about know what it is. It, they're very sharp looking. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, on a princess ship, tuxedo, you're going to fit in 100%. Suit, you're going to fit in 100%. Nice dress shirt with a tie. Uh, you're going to fit, fit in. in yeah. A vest with a nice dress shirt, you're still going to fit in. Yeah. Uh, you're not going to fit in if you're wearing just a um, uh, polo type shirt. Yeah. Or like I was wearing a short sleeve collar shirt. Yeah. You'll still fit. You'd still be okay to wear that in there. But not for formal night. I thought we were talking about formal night. Oh, yeah. Okay. For formal night. Right. Yeah. You're better off to wear something a little, a little more elevated. Yeah. I was talking to some friends of ours yesterday. They're get they just got on the Carnival Mardi Gras today. I know. So shout out to Joel and Kim, who are members of their um, subscribers to our channel. They're very good friends of ours, and we've uh, been on a couple cruises with them. Yes, and they are boarding the ship today. They're already on it right yes, now as I we speak. It. They probably didn't sail jealous. away. The only thing I got to say to that Joel and Kim is because we're not there with you. How about that? <laughs> yes. And so um, they said the same thing. You know, they've gone on cruise ships and uh, weren't sure if they were dressing appropriately. And they were asking us about dress on Princess compared to dress on Carnival. Right. Um, and um, so we got talking about that. You know, we said, yeah, you're going to be you're going to be a little more elevated, a little more dressy on a Princess ship than you are on a Carnival. And if you what are you doing? I just needed to see this because that, you can put it back on the other thing when you get there. Okay, I'm there. Oh, you need to see it now? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, because I don't there. want to forget what I'm... I, I know you won't. I, I won't let you. Right. I won't let you. All right. What was I saying? <laughs> oh, anyway, if you're going to get really more dressed up, you're going like on a canard or Viking. Uh, canard's got some really... You got to really, really dress strict. up. They have, an, a, yeah. I would call, a very strict dress code. Yeah, they actually uh, have seating arrangements, and that's where you sit, and you dress up at a certain time and go. And so... Those are things you want to know before you book a cruise, too. Mm -hmm. If you if you like dressing up, you're going to love canard. You're going to like probably celebrity and princess. If you say, I ain't wearing no suit, then, you know, you're, you're probably better, better, feel more comfortable on a carnival or Royal Caribbean or NCL or something like probably. that. Probably. <laughs> well, let's go over to the chat and see what's been going on. With Let's you. do you know, it. You've been flapping off. Well, I've been job. rambling over here. 
Aaron says, Mark the shark cruising celebrity, but you're dining at the chef's table. At least you're consistent in one thing. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. And Cruising for One says, I bought a gold vest for a white and gold night on Princess. It's not very well advertised, but I noticed a few dressed in white and or gold on my last cruise. Yeah, we I knew about it on the last one. And, yeah, uh, and, and I, you know, they so poorly advertise they that. They so poorly advertise it. And we took his sister and she says, so I heard they have like white and gold night. And I said, yes. And she said, I don't have white dress. I said, I don't either. So she rummaged up a white dress and so did I. And we didn't know what night it was. Come to find out they had it on formal night. Mm. And we missed the whole thing because we didn't dress in black. and We didn't dress in white and gold on formal night. So they poorly advertise that as it, it is typically on formal night. Yeah, you know us. We're, we're going to be gung-ho. If you're going to do it, let's do it. If you're just going to go, hey, we got a white and gold night, then, you know, we're probably going to miss out on that. <laughs> and we did. <laughs> and we did. <laughs> Here we go. Where are you going? I'm waiting for you. Yeah, I was waiting for you to click that. Leonard Family Fun says, Sea Lake Journeys are glad you are spending your Sunday with them. Big thanks. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. That's right, Leonard Family Fun. It is free tonight. <laughs> free to sign up to be a whatever that is, a subscriber. <laughs> <Never>. Yeah. <laughs> Danny D, the spectacular supporter, is here going, yo, 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 Danny D. Mark says, don't forget, Chet and Robin, I'm on the group cruise. Hey. Mark the Shark going to be on that group cruise on NCL. I'll mm. tell you, that's going to be so different for us, Mark. I don't think you've been on NCL. We haven't been on NCL. Cruise Nuts ain't been on NCL. Ocean <laughs> Ocean ain't been on CL. Nobody's been on NCL. TNT, none of us. It's going to be a first-time experience. We're going to do it together. It's going to be pandemonium So what that ship, ship did he say he's on right now? A celebrity something or other. Is that a, a carnival ship? No, celebrity ship. Oh, a celebrity ship. Yeah, a oh. celebrity. Yeah. Like, well, <laughs> sorry. Sorry. I'm behind the times over here. That's okay. He says that he's counting thongs right now and listening. <laughs> I didn't think that you. Okay. So you do. Look, we'll just we'll just say this. Okay. When it comes to thong bathing suits, you will see more thong bathing suits on a carnival cruise ship than you will a princess. You might see that. I, I didn't see as many. Okay. I have been known to count thongs, okay, only because I think that it takes a lot of, of in some cases, courage, in some cases, <laughs> in some cases, just um, flamboyant, I guess, to wear a thong bathing suit on a family type cruise ship. But I have seen more thongs on carnival cruise ships than I have any other cruise line. And apparently it's not socially acceptable to go three thongs, four thongs. <laughs> Oh my God, five, five dogs. So I actually had one video that I had to blur out bums because there were so many thongs that I didn't want. And that to. was getting off the ship. That yeah, was, walking that was down. just walking down, the, walking down the pier. So, you know, the other, and talking about bathing suits, since we are talking about bathing suits, it, there, there is not a single cruise line out there that allows you to wear a bathing suit in the buffet area. They may not yeah. say anything to you, but they do have a rule that you are not to wear a bathing suit into the buffet area. And you're not allowed to wear a wet bathing suit in there either. Men must also have a t-shirt on. So yeah. cover it up, y'all, cover it up. And talking <laughs> about that, I have seen some women, I I own them my, myself, bathing suits that look more like little tennis dresses. I don't think they would stop you and say, you're wearing a bathing suit in the buffet because it looks like a little tennis dress. They're talking about the thong. The thong does not belong in the buffet. The with, thong does not belong. With, <laughs> without a cover-up on it. Now, I have seen see-through cover-ups with thong bathing suits, and that is acceptable in the buffet. So, you know, you really have to stop and think. Other people are there. People's children are there. People's grandchildren are there. And what is truly appropriate for the setting that you're currently in. And don't forget, sometimes there's some freaky people there, too. I know, right? Yeah. Hello. Rock the boat. Rock the boat is here saying hello, everybody. Rock, 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 rock the boat. Rocking that boat, girl. <laughs> TNT's Adventures to Sea says we have 55 more days until uh, Rome, Italy for three days. And then a 10-day Mediterranean cruise to Italy, Greece, and Turkey. So this is a great opportunity for TNT Adventures to see for them to share with us any type of dress code that they may encounter over there, um, because not a lot of people from 
from the United States have actually gone to Rome and Italy on a cruise. And Greece, so, Turkey, all in places. Right. So put in the chat if you've discovered any type of dress codes for the cruise line you're going to be on or the ports that you're going to be in or some of the excursions that you have to go on. Yeah, some of the places you may visit. Remember, a different cultures, customs, religions, and laws. Things to check out before you go. Aaron says, I've noticed John Klikowski is a fan of the white dinner jacket. Jacket. I like is white he? dinner ja jackets. Yeah, I, I think that one. they're very sharp. The only thing is they're not very practical. Yeah, especially we come from my family. We're, we like wear some of our food. It's like a badge of honor. Mm -hmm. I had turkey with gravy and cranberry sauce. <laughs> See me traveling here. Kurt and Marcia saying good evening, Chet and Robin and Sea Leg Journeys. Dress a little better than morning church. So, Ooh, yes. Great. Now, we also... You know, we were on a cruise ship one time, and this is what the maitre d' told us. He said, if your waiter is outdressed you, you are underdressed. Yeah, so I don't let the waiter overdress me, especially on formal nights. So you think about that. What are all of the people that are cleaning the tables, the wait staff doing in the buffet? They're wearing shorts and, you know, little, like, um, shirts. Sometimes T-shirts, sometimes little yeah. polo shirts. Yeah, yeah. That tells you that shorts and T-shirts are welcome in the okay, buffet okay. area. You don't see the employees walking around in thong bathing suits in the buffet area. I've been looking for it, <laughs> but I haven't seen it yet. Now, in the pizza place on some ships, like Princess, they have a pizza <clears throat> place. They wear, like, black slacks and a white shirt. Yeah. So... That tells me you can wear anything except for shorts in there. Ladies can wear skirts and men can wear slacks. That's right. That's just the way I see it. I, I have to agree. That's a good rule to kind of look at there. There we you go. Know, we think about that chance. way. Z's Gaming says, you guys, I will dress to impress. Mm. That's what I'm talking about, Z, man. <laughs> Especially if your baby mama's going to be there. Mark the Shark says, I'm used to the white jacket evening wear. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I got a white suit. I like it too. It, it's not a white suit. He calls it white. It's not white. It's white. It's not white. It's, white. it's, it is a very, very, it's kind of, it's a very light steel blue. It's not white. I got a white suit. It's too. not white, TB. You call it white, but it's not white. Read this chat. <laughs> I'm going to wear it tomorrow. Y'all watch me. <laughs> See if they tell me if it's white. This <laughs> is white. Yes, I know. Same color as a jacket. And no, it's not. Pants I bought at Jay Z Penny. This this is the color of the jacket you have right mm -hmm. here. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> TNT says we started a Mardi Gras night with fancy mask and dress up for a formal night. Oh, we did that on a carnival one time. They actually brought all the yes. stuff out and we made the mask right there on the ship. Yes, it was it was a Mardi Gras night in the dining room, and mm -hmm. you could go to the one area where they had the mask and you could decorate the mask yourself and wear them that night. Yeah. That's a cool idea though. Mm -hmm. Maybe we do something like that on a group cruise maybe. Huh? Oh, that would be a cute Write it down. Cool Hold idea. on, where's the piece of paper at? I've got to write this stuff down. You have a piece of paper? I don't have it. And um, Danny did a super sport. She says she came flying in. Wee! <laughs> and welcome in Do Ryan. Ryan, Donnie, who's here? Hey, <coughs> what's going on, Ryan? <laughs> <laughs> Here, read the chest. Oh, Mark the Shark says, some of the females that I see that were wearing thongs, Robin, they really need <laughs> a bed sheet. <laughs> uh, yeah, a cover-up. Yeah, they need a cover-up. They need a cover-up. Mm -hmm. that, that's all. I'm supposed to have a cover-up, y'all. And Clock Family's Adventures is here saying, hello, everybody. What's going on, Mike? <laughs> the thong does not belong. <laughs> the thong does not belong. <laughs> unless, it's under, unless it's under a cover-up. Unless it's under a cover-up. You heard right. it. Mm -hmm. Here first at Sea Lake Journeys. Cruising for one says, oh, you mean women do not need to wear a T-shirt on in the buffet? <laughs> so cruising for one, cruising for one, I'm Paul Jones <laughs> and Aaron Smith, they are always on me about the things I say, mm -hmm. and I don't say them properly, I don't, or my accent's thrown in there, a little wonky. Wear a T-shirt on. <laughs> 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 Z's Gaming says, all right, guys, now i got to play the thong song for my workout on Monday. <laughs> you do it, Z-Man. I'll be listening. I'll be dancing to it. <laughs> uh, Cruising for One says, I understand that cruises in the UK tend to be more formal even on the same cruise line. Oh, how about that? That's uh, interesting. So can I say that again? Even if you're on, like, say, a carnival or a princess, they tend to be more formal in, over the, in the UK, UK than they are here in America. So that tells me that mm -hmm. in the UK – what is acceptable is not the same that's acceptable in the U.S. Yeah. 
Exactly. Now, we know lots of places that what's acceptable in the U.S. is not acceptable over there. Oh, yeah. There's some stuff that I'm not sure should be accepted in Walmart when I go in there. <laughs> I, was, I was kind of going towards some of the things I knew you had in your note. Oh, I had no idea then. <laughs> I have a note here though. It says cruise clothes are important, very important. You must wear something. <laughs> the note you had was about being in other countries and other religions. And oh, that yeah, kind of thing. yeah, yeah. That's what I read here before. You got to be aware once again of, of different countries, cultures, customs, religions, and laws. And so the example that he used earlier today with me that obviously he's forgotten now was visiting a temple. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know that's where you was going. Yeah, so go ahead. Okay, yeah. Uh, we haven't been overseas yet, but I read about overseas cruises, and I see that they have different kind of uh, religions and cultures and customs and stuff. Some places you go to visit to, like if you go to a place where there's a mosque, you're in the Middle East or somewhere, uh, women have to cover their heads up and their mm -hmm. arms up in a lot of places. So you need to be aware of that one before you go there, and also be aware that you can't just opt out and go, no, I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm an American. That don't apply to me. <laughs> it, it don't work that way in the rest of the world, y'all. <laughs> it don't work that way. We just want to inform people before you go. And we found out even in the Caribbean, there are places where you cannot wear camouflage. No matter what color the camouflage is. If you like to hunt here in the United States and you like wearing your camouflage stuff, or maybe you're in the military and you like wearing that, I, I advise you just leave it home so you don't accidentally get off a port and and end up finding yourself in jail because they arrest you because they say you are impersonating one of their police officers because that's what they wear. That's what their police and officers. You just wear. go to jail directly. To jail. You don't get to pass go. Collect two hundred dollars. No. And, and trust me, if you're arrested for wearing camo when camo is illegal for the common um, population, yeah, you're probably gonna miss the shit. Yeah. <laughs> And I think Wednesday, I'm thinking my show is going to be on peer running. That's a possibility I'm looking at now if you're interested in Wednesday morning show. Aaron says, something I've heard about Caribbean cruising is don't wear camo in That's the port. That's what we just mentioned, yes. Right on, Aaron. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah, don't do it. Just leave that stuff at home. Don't accidentally get off in the wrong port with those things and end up in jail somewhere. And I actually had someone say to me one time, why would their police only wear camo? You got to remember some of these places, they don't have a lot of money from the government and camo is pretty cheap as opposed to an official uniform. Okay. So you can't say, well, they should have a regular uniform, not wear camo. It's their country. It's their law. They can pick whatever outfit they want. They can wear uh, mm -hmm. big fluffy bear costumes if they want to, I reckon. Mark the Shark says, dressmaker as I seen a beautiful woman walk in with a song in a white jacket to the chef's table. To me, that was priceless. There you go. Yes. Woo. Cruising for One says, I'll be going on my first virgin voyage next month for my 60th birthday. I'm very interested in the clothing situation on that line. And we're very interested in yes, hearing about it, Jeffrey. We are. Be sure to let us know. Thank you. So advance. just so you know, the thunder is rumbling outside quite loud. Um, a few days ago when it was that loud, and our power even, went out. So if the power goes out. And dig this. Right now, we're at like 13% chance of rain. Yeah. 13. But the thunder is ridiculous. Yeah. It's, it's crazy. Uh, J.C. Penny suits rock. Yes, that's right. J.C. Penny suits. suits are very affordable mm -hmm. and are in a variety of sizes and is very acceptable. And you know what? Yeah. This is the thing: if you don't want to wear a tie, but you have a suit coat on or a suit vest, it's okay not to wear a tie. Yeah, because right. the suit dressed you up. If you so, yeah. don't say I don't wear wear a suit because I don't like ties. Well, a lot, a lot of men don't like ties. They choke you. It's too hot. It's too confining. When you put on a suit jacket or a vest that belongs to a suit, you don't have to wear a tie. That's right. Just leave the tie. Yeah. Or sometimes I'll wear it in just so I look good, and then it's time to eat. I'm like, <laughs> and he sticks it in his pocket. Yeah, or her pocket. Oh wait, you don't have pockets. TNT says so far our only dress code rule is a general rule: no camo wearing at any ports. Mm -hmm. Wow. See, even over there in the, the in the Mediterranean, they're saying no camouflage. Yeah. So, guys, leave that camouflage. And, ladies, leave the camouflage at home. So, Cruise Nets wants to know, what about a new cruise? Cruise what to wear? Okay, so I can tell you the I can tell you the rules for new cruises. Not because I've been on a new cruise, so everybody just hang in there, okay? But because I know the rules of new cruising because of this channel. So, some things I learn because of this channel. So, on new cruises, first of all, you cannot just walk around the whole ship nude. 
Okay. Anytime you're walking down a hallway, you must have some type of clothing on. A lot of people choose to have the sarong that they wrap and tie. Um, some have like robes, some have, um, just a, a, a shift that they put on and, um, you do have to wear clothes walking through the hallway. And sitting in the main dining room. Anytime you're sitting down, you'll be wearing something or sitting on a towel at the very right. least. The yeah. main dining room, you must be fully clothed. And fully clothed still means sundress or, you know, so yeah. you have to be fully clothed. Yeah. Now, if you're going to sit down mm -hmm. on a new cruise, you must carry around a towel with you and sit down on the towel. You're not allowed to sit down on pool chairs or furniture of any kind without sitting on your own towel. Um, so that is the rules. Now the buffet area does require you to have some type of cover up on many times on new cruises. It's that sarong. They just, the men will just wrap the sarong around their waist. Women will just wrap the sarong here or the cover up that or sundress that is covering everything. So that's the news for new crews. Here we go. How about that? Renee says, laugh out loud. Yes, Robin, help check out. <laughs> I need some help. Didn't they already? How about that? They've been here <laughs> 10 minutes and they already know me. <laughs> I'm a complicated man. <laughs> Cruising for once says Robin throws a softball and Chet strikes out. Yeah, that's about right. <laughs> I know. She threw a softball. I did. I was like, where's she going with that? I don't, know. I don't know. Sometimes I don't even know where I'm going, though, guys, to be fair. Uh, TNT says, for the Vatican legs and arms must be covered, men and women. Mm -hmm. and How so, about that? Even men got to cover their arms and legs. So ah. there you go. If you're going to visit the Vatican, which is a place that we do want to visit. I yes. was not aware that women had to have their arms covered. Now, see, so. this is good stuff. Y'all see here that TNT and, and Tom and Terry have done their research already. They're not going to be surprised when they get there and go, oh, we didn't bring any long pants or long sleeve shirts. They already know, so they're going to be packed appropriately. And not this only is that, brilliant. let's say that you paid for the Vatican excursion before you left, and you got there and you were not properly dressed, and they don't let you in. You're not getting your money back because you should have read the rules in the um, in the uh, description of the excursion. Now you may get lucky, and a vendor be standing outside selling something that can cover you up <laughs> 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 and cruising for one. Cruise nuts. I bet it's actually challenging to figure that out. Yeah, how about that? And fearless rambler. Howdy, everyone. Rambling, just rambling, rambling. <laughs> just driving down from the mountains. Good to see you in here. Fearless. Mm -hmm. Woo! Be sure you check out Fearless uh, Rambler's channel. He does stuff that would scare the average person. You got to go see it. It's awesome. Leonard Family Fun says, I want to say it's San Juan, but visiting some of the churches during an excursion, they ask women, I believe, not to wear sleeveless tops and or revealing, revealing clothing. Clothes. There you go. And Even had, in the Caribbean, you get places right. like and that. And so Chet had a tip earlier today. He said, if you're going somewhere, dress as modestly as possible. Then yeah. you're at least, hopefully you're in the safe zone. You know, if you didn't know the rule, if you're dressed as moderate, as modestly as possible, then you, you know, I forget where we were. We, visited, we uh, went on a tour of a church one time and I don't remember where we were, but I do remember that we rode um, a little horse and buggy cart to get there. And it was a, a church stop along the way. And I don't remember what type of church it was. But there was a young girl with us that she had on a cute little top and cute little pair of pants. But her midriff was showing. And the usher at the front of the church told her she would not be allowed in unless she covered up her midriff. Yeah, that was so, in the Caribbean, too. And I can't remember. That what was in the Caribbean. I don't remember where. That was a long time ago. But yeah. it, yes, it was a little a little tiny church. Mm -hmm. And, it you know, just it was just a stop along the way in the and the the guided tour. And so um, I think her mom has a scarf or something in her pocket and she just tied the scarf here so that her midriff wouldn't show. Yeah. So keep that in mind that sometimes just showing your midriff isn't, isn't not appropriate wear. You know, one thing I wanted to throw in tonight's show too, that before it gets any further on here, but it's almost a quarter till I want to make sure I mention this. I wanted to bring up a new, new segment on our shows. It's going to be interesting comments that we have got in our comment section on our videos. Okay, you go ahead. That's a long title, isn't it? I'm going to have to change that title. But anyway, this is this comment. It's on our Margarita Nassau Bahamas, a full tour. Okay, we did a full tour in the Nassau Bahamas. We put a video out. You're going to love this comment. It comes from Poppy Nancy. She says, I don't know why I'm watching this whilst I'm sitting on the beach there. <laughs> 
beach. She's sitting on the beach at Margaritaville, at Margaritaville in Nassau, watching our video. Watching our video, <laughs> video of Margaritaville. She well, goes, I don't know you. why I'm watching this. I hope that we informed you very, very, very nicely. And she's got a big laughing emoji there. And that's why that's what I told her. I said, I hope you're enjoying both of them. Thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs> I had to, I want to bring up that new segment of we're going to throw out some of the comments that we've received here because I find them highly entertaining sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we got a couple more um, things in the chat here that have been going while you were doing that. Okay, Renee says, yes, Robin and Chet, I live in West Palm Beach, and these storms for the past few days have been crazy. Mm. Crazy, she yep, says. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. They have been crazy. Cruising for one says, I don't even buy camo just to be sure. Yeah, that, there you go. Mm -hmm. Hey, mine are stuffed in a sea bag up in the attic. Uh, Bam Manola says, what is thunder? I haven't heard thunder here in months. <laughs> well, come on, we got plenty of it down it, here. It's every day here. <laughs> every day here. The Leonard Family Fund says, Cruising for One, I love J.C. Penny. Clothing is nice and affordable. Mm -hmm. They have amazing deals. That's where most, I'd say 90% of my suits came from is J.C. Penny. Cruise Nuts. Even his tuxedos he got from J.C. Penny. That's right. He got the tuxes, mm -hmm. ties, and everything. Cruise Nuts says, Good to know. Thanks, Robin and Chet. This info is very helpful. There you go. Woohoo! And Mark says, like ZZ Top says, I'm a sharp dressed man. There you go. So, yeah, when it comes to the chef's table, I do dress to impress. But when you do that and you eat, you have to be very careful that nothing gets on gets you. Gets on you. I know. That's why the white soup doesn't work. I wear, you know, I actually ask for a bib sometimes at the chef's table <laughs> because I know I'm going to slop something on me. And I'm, I am I dress. Nice I try too. to keep the food off of his face and off of his clothes. But he's like, just let me enjoy the food. But you're wearing it everywhere. <laughs> I can show everybody later. Look at my war. Hey, together we travels in the house saying hey, hello, hey. everyone. From the carnival legend, Woo! what heading to Greenland and Greenland. Canada? Greenland, oh, I want to go to Greenland. Oh, oh. That. So that's another thing, you know. Greenland, the uh, necessary wear is going to be different. Yeah, I'm going to run down some of this real quick here. Some of the things you're going to need, possibly on your cruise, depending on where you're going, and what kind of excursions you're going to be doing, and what kind of ports you're at, and cultures and stuff like that. So make sure you, with your bathing suit that you got your cover up too, okay? Mm -hmm. And your sweaters. It gets chilly at night, even in the Caribbean sometimes. Mm -hmm. She's got this thing that she takes to wear into the dining room. What is that thing you got? It's called a shawl. A shawl. <laughs> take your shawl. Take your sweater. Take something because it can be cold in the dining room too. I carry a shawl and a fan. <laughs> and I know because she's hot one minute and cold the next. What can I say? <laughs> Uh, take your scarves, lady, just in case, you, ladies, in case you need to, to cover up your head or arms. And uh, keep in mind, like Tom and Terry said, guys, even make sure you got some long sleeve shirts and long mm -hmm. pants for some of those destinations. You're going to need them. And hello, Pedroza <laughs> Travel. Thank you for stopping in. And TNT Adventures to Sea had to run, but thanks for stopping, stopping by. Thanks, Tom and Terry. Good to see you, John Pedroza. And uh, hey, don't forget your jewelry, ladies. You want to you look sharp, wear some good jewelry. Yeah. And, a sun and keep in mind that when you get off the ship, don't wear your good jewelry. No. It makes you a target. That's right. Mm -hmm. Leave that jewelry in the safe when you get off the ship. Very yeah. good tip right there. Uh, take your sunglasses and your big hats. Even, yeah. even in Alaska, you're going to need them. Yes. Even in I Alaska. I got sunburned on a glacier. <laughs> sunburned on a glacier. And a watch. We recommend you have an analog watch with you. Yes. Especially if you're going to get off in ports. Set that analog watch to ship time. Mm, very important. And for your peer running episode on Wednesday, you want to take a picture of that sign that says what time you have to be back and what number to call. If in I case can you find get, it. In case you get, no. You need yeah. to say on your Wednesday show yeah, that yeah, when yeah. you get off the ship, take a picture of the sign they have yeah, yeah. that tells you what time to be back and the phone number to call and in I've case got, you have an emergency. And I've got a picture of that too somewhere. i got to find it. <laughs> uh, cruise casual. Make sure you, if you're going to be comfortable and it's in, you're in the Caribbean or somewhere warm, got some shorts, some T-shirts, a tank top some capris, something like that to be comfortable in. And for dinner, you want to make sure you got that smart casual clothes to wear into the main dining room or the specialty dining. Some and long smart pants. smart casual is not t-shirts. No, no, no. <laughs> no, we're talking long pants, collared shirt, a shirt with a collar, guys. Okay. A dress or a skirt, something like that. Mm -hmm. Something nice. Uh, hey, you know what? On formal nights, I have seen many men wearing their... Um, their military uniform, I think, is so sharp. I've actually seen mm -hmm. men from Scotland wearing their kilts in the dining yes, room. Yes, yes. I think that is just so 
elegant to see a man, a Scottish man. And it's not, and it's not a costume. It no, is real deal. a yeah, real yeah. kilt. Now, if you're being funny, it's not so nice. <laughs> and Pedroza Travel says he was surprised how, how warm it was in Alaska. Oh, yeah. I know, right? And Z-Man, what is J.C. Penney's? It's a store like Sears. Um, yeah. They're going out of business in different places. So, mm -hmm. unfortunately, Ours is a gone. few are still around. So not that many. I haven't bought a suit in years now because they've been gone for they years. They've gone out of business, yeah. Okay, don't forget, uh, like if you're going to Alaska or Northern Europe, be able to dress in layers. So take some layers that you can put on, okay? Mm -hmm. And some waterproof clothes, waterproof jacket, maybe some waterproof shoes you don't mind getting wet. Mm -hmm. Cruising for one, <clears throat> it's interesting that ultra luxury lines are less formal than premium lines. Unless you're going on canard, mm -hmm. then they ain't. And yeah. <laughs> mentioning the, the rain gear, if you're ever going to go up and tour some some type of falls, like, and I'm going to use Niagara Falls as an example, you get a little boat and you ride up to the falls, you're going to get wet because water is through the air and everything. So, you know, if they, I always look and see if it says bring bug spray, mm -hmm. um, mosquito repellent, you know, all, the, all those things, I make sure they're in my bag. I'd rather have them in my bag when I get off the ship and not need them than have them in my bag and go, man, Chet, they told us we needed mosquito spray. Why didn't you bring it? I don't know. Why did I bring it? <laughs> <laughs> and cruising for one, JC Penny has an online store still. Oh, I did not know that. I did not know that either. That's a, that's a good tip for me right there. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I'm going to check that out. You can be sure of that. Shoes. Shoes are part of getting dressed. I have seen more people wearing inappropriate footwear and it causes them problems. We've seen yes. people on excursions wearing inappropriate footwear and are falling because of it, yes. um, getting their feet injured because of it, or having serious problems with their back and neck because they're not wearing the proper footwear. Yeah, if you're getting off on those excursions, uh, most of the time we are going to recommend closed-toed shoes. Uh, some excursions, if you're going to go tubing, uh, river, something, you know, route in a boat, you want to wear those uh, little called water, water shoes. shoes. And there's a difference between closed-toed water shoes mm -hmm. and not closed-toed water shoes. Yes. If, they'll, if they specifically say closed-toed water sho shoes are preferred, that's because there's going to be some little rocks and shells that get in your ones that are not closed-toed and can cut your feet up. Oh, yeah. This is like walking barefoot at that point. Mm -hmm. yep, here's travel. <laughs> uh, Viking says on their advertising, they are purposely not formal. Yeah. Okay. That, that's yeah. Good. Viking. Yeah. You got to check these lines individually. y'all. That's what, mm -hmm. that's what we're saying here. Check Viking. If you're going there, check Canard. If you're going on them, check Royal Caribbean, what their codes are. Cause they're all, you know, they got their own little things going on. Mm -hmm. you know? Here you go. Uh, Mark the shark says, do you know how many times I can go to certain restaurants on a cruise ship with just silk pajamas for surprisingly, I can get away with it. So you what? said, that, and let me tell you, there was, a, there was a cruise that we packed for, and I packed a formal dress for myself and pajamas. And that was it. And I could not believe I did not pack clothes for myself. So I did everything. I wore Chet's clothes. I bought clothes. Well, I had these really cute pajamas. They're, they were black with little pink um, polka dots on them. And I told Chet, I said, I'm going to have to wear my pajamas tonight. It wasn't formal night. And I walked past the girls in the spa and they're like, that outfit is so cute. Oh, they wonder I had where she got it. Heels. <laughs> Where'd you get that? And I'm like, girls, don't tell anyone, but it's pajamas. They're like, what's well, what? It's really cute. But they were dressy kind of pajamas. They weren't flannel or anything like that. So yeah, you know, what are you going to do, right? I thought they had pictures here's, of cats on them or something. I don't know. Here's the Z show. Z man says, guys, I don't have to bring any sunscreen. I have a 24. Four seven ten. You should still wear sunscreen. Yes, you should, Z-Man. Mm -hmm, you should. Uh, Pedroza says, I should have checked my shoes. They literally fell apart in Sitka. Mm -hmm. I had to wait until Juno to get more appropriate shoes. Should have brought some hiking shoes. There you go. Oh, yeah. So in Alaska, I made sure that I did have hiking boots. Yep. Um, and talking about shoes that fall apart, if you have your same water shoes and you've used them for a couple of years and you just throw them in your suitcase, oh. it has happened to me where I got to the beach, I put them on and they literally just fell apart. Disintegrated. Because yep. they were just old yep. and, and couldn't take it anymore. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Here's cruising for one. I bet Margaritaville cruises are pretty informal. I bet you're right. I bet you're right. <laughs> I bet mm -hmm. you're right. I bet you're right. <laughs> Renee says, yes, on my first cruise, Carnival Imagination, I wore the wrong shoes and sliced my foot. There you go. I'll never go to a ship doctor again. So mm. let me tell you what, injuries to your feet 
can seem yeah. pretty minor, but end up being pretty serious. Yeah. I have seen people stop and put so many band-aids on their feet because they're not wearing the appropriate footwear or they just wore them because they were cute. Yep. Warm because it's cute, but they did and not work out. If your feet are hurting, you are going to have a miserable vacation. Let me tell you what. I will wear tennis shoes no matter what I'm wearing for the sake of comfort that I know I'm going to be walking. If I've yes. got a skirt on, I don't care. I'm wearing tennis shoes. Yep. I'm, I don't care about quote unquote style or looking cute because yeah. my feet are not going to kill me. Yeah, Fashion goes out the door and, mm -hmm. and, and something practical. <laughs> something practical walks in. Cruising for one says, I found that you definitely should not wear brand new shoes on a cruise. Yes. Oh, yeah. Your feet will be a little bit sore from mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. That's true. And women are the worst for that. Women are the worst for wearing the cute shoes that give them all kinds of blisters and all that. And wearing the brand new shoes. We're the worst for that. If that's going to be you, make sure you pack enough band-aids that you can, <laughs> can put them on them blisters. <laughs> All right. You got any more comments over there you want to mention? Yes, I do. Uh, our le our last video I just put up, I think it was yesterday. Yes. Uh, Mount McKinley Adventure, Moose Scat and Taste Test with Sea Lake Journeys. So we put this up because <clears throat> our friend Dano, who went with us to Alaska, his, and his lovely, beautiful bride, Arlene, mm -hmm. um, Dano has been very sick and he is recovering quite nicely. And so we thought we'd give him a, a little video to chuckle at. And of course... We got a chuckle from him. If you haven't seen it, check it out. It's only about three and a half minutes long. It's from Mount McKinley Princess Lodge, and you got to go see it. It's a, it's about moose scat and taste test. I'll let you figure out what that means when you watch the video. <laughs> but here's one of the comments that we had on that video after they watched it. It comes from Cruising for One. That's right. Jeffrey says, moose scat and taste test. Never thought I'd see that on YouTube. <laughs> hey, Sea Lake Journeys, you never know what we're going to put up. Are you not going to tell them Ar Arlene's comment on that same video? Oh, do, let me see if I got it. Here. She said, Arlene said to Dana, "Look, Dana, you made a YouTube. You made it onto YouTube." He can't find it now. I know it's here, but there's there's a lot of comments, y'all. So, Mark the yeah. shark. There's a guy. I go ahead. There's a guy. I'm very proud to be a pinnacle on Royal Caribbean. <laughs> Pinnacle on Royal Caribbean. Easy for me to say. Easy for you to say. Yes, I wear silk boxers and silk pajamas and all that. And yes, I have a Royal Caribbean bathrobe. <laughs> I wear around and I get away with it. Yeah, you got that big bathrobe. So that's another thing. People wearing bathrobes out of their stateroom. I know on Carnival it's a big deal. I actually go have your picture taken wearing your your Carnival robe. Well, there I are some that. ships that that's not appropriate. Yeah, it depends on where you're at. Right? You know, and you'll know when you get on the cruise line what's uh, what's going to probably be work and what's going to probably mm -hmm. not work. Yep. Uh, Cruising for one says, make sure you have moleskin with you, even if you don't think you'll need them. You'll be glad you have them if you do. What's moleskins? Yeah, it's like it like goes over open cut. And oh, stuff. It, like that, like new skin. Yeah, yeah. Stuff called new skin. Yeah. Okay. I've actually got the like super glue stuff. Yeah. That's mine. new skin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Here we go. We use, super, we use super glue in the Marine Corps, believe it or not. It's regular tube of super glue. <laughs> Larry Family Fun says, Sea Legs, enjoyed the show. About to go grab some dinner. Thanks again for your support. Have a wonderful evening. You and as week. well. You too, Tanisha. It's been great seeing you. Woo! And Clock Family Ventures also has to run. That's right. He's coming on live right behind us at 7 o'clock. Okay. Okay, so the last tips we got here is um, uh, watch out for uh, your shirts. If you got T-shirts. What kind of sayings or folk pictures and stuff you got on them? You don't want to. Like, you got to remember there's kids around. Wonder Woman's okay. Yeah, but if it, yeah. you know, there's some things that aren't okay that are printed on t-shirts that are very uh, yeah, don't offensive. Be, yeah, don't be vulgar, offensive. Mm -hmm. Try to remember there's people with kids on there and other people that. Moleskin know. is a sticky felt pad that cushions your feet. Oh, okay. It's a felt pad. It's a felt pad. 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 Mm. Mm. Now we know. <laughs> I thought you know. Yeah, that's right. Okay. I'm learning something. Okay, I'm, I'm learning you got one stuff. minute. Okay. Um, that was, that, that, that make sure I got, you know, we really, that's it. That was the last thing I had right there. So those are your uh, tips that you got here from us here at Sea Lake Journeys, what to wear, what not to wear. Remember to consider other people around you. Consider their cultures, customs, religions, laws that you might come across. And uh, also. Uh, here's a good point. No political slangs. Slogans. Slug, that could get you in trouble. That that and, and on yeah. some cruise ships, that'll get you in a fight. 
you know, yeah. even if you don't want to fight. People get tanked up and uh, take yeah. offense to your political stuff. Well, we want to thank all of you for stopping in and joining the show tonight. Remember, Chet has a show on Wednesday mornings at 8 a.m. 8.30. Oh, 8.30. Oh, you go ahead, Sid. At 8.30. Come on. Come on to Sea Lake Journeys at 8.30 Wednesday morning. We're going to have that midweek update. We're going to talk about whatever comments we get over here. And I think our topic today is going to be on um, peer running. Peer running. That's, that's where it's leaning to. So, and then we put videos up every Friday in the Friday Raid Pray. That's right. Once again, we will have one this Friday. Chet has learned how to how to edit videos since I'm so busy with my new job. So he's been putting up lots of videos randomly. So make sure you put on that notification bell. That way you'll know when we have a video coming out. And so if you check out those last couple of videos you put up, you can see the quality of my work. <laughs> <laughs> so until next time, you guys, we'll see you around the channel. See you around the channel.